Yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it Like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna continue with the 2019 NFL Draft. I've been waiting over a week to watch this, but I wanted to do it on camera because these guys are gonna be an integral part of my of me following this year's NFL. Being, being that I don't know a hell of a lot of players, these ones that I see through the draft, you know, in their first year, especially, like I keep saying, the running backs, um, I'm gonna really follow them, you know? So I've been looking forward to watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Most of you guys have probably seen it already, but if you haven't, come along. Let's do this, it's 16 minutes long. I'll see you in a second. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is Okay, the Bengals. Another team that I don't really hear a lot of. The Cincinnati Bengals select. Jonah Williams, tackle, Alabama. Tackle. Interesting that they picked Jonah Williams and you listen at the end to see which position they listed. Was it gonna be guard or was it gonna be tackle? It is tackle for Jonah Williams coming out of Alabama. And that was a lot of questions. Six, four, three, oh, two. Is he gonna play at the next level? Five, twelve. He could play either, but you know, you're always looking for those tackles. If you could get him that's your position of need, that's what you hear right there. But you know, these are never the sexiest picks, right? Because they're, they're not the guys that score touchdowns. But as a quarterback, you love to know that you're taking care of on the edges. This guy will do that for Andy Dalton. When I watched this guy, the one word that kept coming up was consistency. Yep. He blocked his guy. He was in great position. He was never in bad position. He played against great talent, high tie talent. The guy just blocked his man over and over and over. Get out there, mate. Maybe he's not the quickest, most explosive guy. But no sacks allowed. He can drive block, he can back, he can come to the next side. In all of 2018. Michigan. Alright, so there's Rashawn Gary. Yeah! For Michigan. And he is emotional. Yeah! He is coming true. Talking to 458 right at 27765. So last time that they had two first round selections, they used it on BJ Raji, known as <sighs> Raji Island, when he picked <laughs> off, as you know, a pass in the NFC Championship game that sends the Packers on. And it's a very Must be talking to the coach. For this young man who from New Jersey, played his game in, in Ann Arbor. He's created his own agency to represent him and set himself up business-wise. Moving on, and now he's got a Packer hat in his hand, putting it on and celebrating with his family. And you look at Rashawn Gary, things that jump out at you, he is a freaky athlete, ran in the four five. That's really interesting, actually, that he's created his, his own agency, his own, um, what is it? Player agency, he's his own agent. His own manager? Is that what you, you call it? So he is representing himself. He must be building a team around him <clears throat> and then bringing on other athletes. Entrepreneurial? I like it. Size at that size. It's an argument of potential versus production. Similar to Ezekiel Otso when he was coming out of BYU, you see all the traits that just didn't always translate into the production. That was the challenge for a team. It's you quick off the line. line coach, you get out of it. But this type of get off you see right here is elite. He can win early. Oh. He's got to find a way to oh. he doesn't do it. Fuck, he just time. slammed his own teammate. You want to play over tight ends? He can annihilate tight ends in the run game. Get off the block. Use that speed to pursue. 458 for a 40. And get yourself a tackle. At 6'5, I mean, these guys, you, you watch this, you don't realize how, how big these guys are. You really just, you don't. I don't. I didn't. But I do now. And I think I'd. I'd I'd know straight away as soon as I got to a real game and I saw it. Especially an NFL game. That long arm. You 
use your length. He can convert speed to power, jack the tackle back. Then you're going to come underneath and get a sack. Now, there just wasn't a ton of sack production, but you see the traits. With the 13th pick in the 2000 I like the Dolphins. NFL draft, the Miami Dolphins select Christian Wilkins, defensive tackle, Clemson. There's some value for you. He's my seventh overall player in this draft. I did not think he would end up falling all the way down there. That's why I ended up putting him in my mock draft with the Miami Dolphins, just because of the connection. His defensive line coach for the Miami Dolphins, Marion Hobbies, a Let's go. at Clemson. So had knowledge of Christian Wilkins and what he I did. love the Miami Dolphins colors, man. I really do. If you asked me and gave me some truth here, I said, there's no way this kid's going to be there. And he, he actually was. Well, you mentioned your favorite player in the draft. <laughs> The way he plays his athleticism. Let's go, his shit. His toughness, his leadership. Shit, I'm about to pass out. To mention, he won the academic Heisman this past year. Uh, the Campbell Trophy award named after a good friend of ours. Good friend of ours. Nice hat, bro. This guy's got a skill with us. He is so Let's active. Go. We talked to that for This is one of the heartbeats of that football team. We talked to that earlier. This is coming back this year. The commissioner. <laughs> Chest bump the commissioner. All three teams trying to dethrone Miami. The Patriots in the AFC East went defensive tackle in the first round. I'm thinking that is the Clemson poor. Williams and Oliver are now Christian Wilkins. That's the point Kirk was making, that interior pressure. Quick feet and hands. So what about this one? He's dominant on the backside ever as a run defender and reminds me a lot of Gerald McCoy when you study him on college tape. Ultra athletic. The range for him as a defensive lineman to play inside out. He slips blocks. He's not going to be a real overpowering player. He's going to beat you with his quickness, push the head down, stay on your feet, and then as a pass rusher, he's got to... It'd be nice if they put those little blue circles around him because I... I, I, uh, I, uh, I actually can't follow him. Quick first step, and my favorite scouting term coach, he's got tremendous wiggle. Oh, there's no question about it. This big guy Tell me we get a freaking offensive player. Well, no, a running back or a, a wide receiver. The, the commissioner loves it. <laughs> this guy, I, I made a nice Yeah! Mistake. To show my defensive line when I'm not doing this guy, to show these guys, this is how the position is played. With the 14th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Chris Lindstrom, guard, Boston College. And can we go back to the combine, Rachel? I said just Chris get Lindstrom. The Patriots. Chris Lindstrom looks like a Patriot. Well, Dimitrov was a Patriot. Scott Pioli was a Patriot. So I'm going to say that's closer. It's closest to the pin. With the 15th pick. I'd love to be on a staffing team like that. That'd be amazing. In the 2019 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select Dwayne Haskins, quarterback, Ohio State. He is from Maryland. As you can this see, guy is monstrous, the isn't he? The Terrapins. 6'5", 280. wanted him to go to school there and play at Maryland, but Ohio State came and got him. He's Maryland through and through. The Terrapins, the Terrapins wanted him to go to school there and play at Maryland, but Ohio State came and got him. And after leaving Ohio State, he goes home. He looks heavier than 230. As you can see, it is draft party in a bowling alley in Gaithersburg, Maryland. The folks there know who Dwayne Haskins is and have known who he has been for quite some time and he has to be thrilled to be the guy going home the choice of the Washington Redskins. And no doubt in that division the Giants were aggressive the Redskins remained patient they got their guy ideal size and frame what you love about him he throws an accuracy yeah how mobile is he anticipation to knock it's been out there through this whole process a little lack of mobility and some playmaking but when you watch him scan the whole field his eyes working through progressions so quickly and the ball pops out of his hand now can you drive the ball on these cover two hole shots be able to read that corner read the coverage and you got to be able to drive that ball and squeeze it in Good read yeah that's a nice throw ball. 
Now we get into the touch. This is a back shoulder fade to keep this game alive on the road against Maryland. That was a huge play in that ball game, and this was the one that would go on and win it. Not the most mobile guy, but this is a good mm. example of his toughness fighting for that extra yard good work. down there in the red area. My concern, it's not that he can't roll out or run with a great option. It's when he gets moved off the spot a little bit. His eyes tend to be ahead of his feet. He's got to get his feet connected with his eyes. That's going to take a little bit of time. And Kurt, I don't think he's going to have time. I think he'll trot out there week one with the starters in Washington. I agree. And mobility isn't everything. You can still play this game without mobility. Uh, but what <laughs> Hang I on, who's that? That is, um... I know who that is. That's... Kurt Warner. Tell you what I love about this nice. guy is when you watch him on film, it's the second level throws. I always believe great players at that position make the second level type throws. And you're going to see one right here. Look at this up over touch right on the money, giving his guy a chance to run after catch. But you see this over and over again. We're going to hold the free safety right here. Then bang, he's going to drive this post oh, into tight lovely catch. on the money. You see the ability, once again, up and over, where do we say, throw these things high, right at the face mask, where your guy can shield the defender, but you see it over and over again, 15 to 25 yard throw here, I like this, get it up and down, can you get it up and over those linebackers, a bigger margin of error, this kid can make those throws down the field, I think you're right DJ, I think he is going to be a day one starter for them, they still need to get him some weapons to be able to make some of these throws, but I like the fact that he made those Consistently, you put it on the tape. There were big play after big play with Dwayne Haskins behind center. The 16th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft. The Carolina Panthers select Brian Burns, defensive end, Florida State. Brian Burns was a name I heard come up over and over. Give me a running back. Teams that were down towards the bottom of the first round were talking about trading up. Some teams oh, look at those stats. How far they can go back it's ridiculous. Burns. He's got the best get off quickness. Oh, the yeah. Coming off the Let's end. go. The question was the weight. He played in the 220s. He shows up at the combine at 249. And that was a big feather in his cap. The teams were able to get past that weight thing, coach. The guy that people kept saying how light he was when he came out of college was. Nice suit. Hunters. He's too light, he's too skinny. Is he gonna be able to, to, and that guy showed up and dominated the league. I don't know that this guy's that type of a player, but that's what I kept thinking when I kept watching him. You're, you were 100% right. This guy's got a first step that is beyond anybody else. He is quick, he is explosive, he is long. You see how thin and long he's built? But this guy can get around the edge in a heartbeat. Spider-Man is his celebration, Kurt. So he just gave a little Spider-Man there with his hands on. That that that's what that was. Yeah, I like it. So we are halfway through the first round. With the 17th pick of the 2019 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Dexter Lawrence, defensive tackle, Clemson. Second and up! David Gellman loves a big hot molly, he got the biggest. The Dexter Lawrence at 342 pounds, a dominant run defender. And what? <laughs> the pass game, he's going to be more of a push the pocket what? style. Reminds me a lot of a guy coach. No, no one's getting through him, man. He's that type of athlete at that size. This guy ran just over five flat. We pulled up before the finish line at the combine. He can generate that pocket push. He came off the field a lot on third downs because they had a race car package where they have so many talented players at Clemson. He didn't get the opportunity to rush. That was the only question mark. What kind of a pass rusher are you getting? When you look inside this division, when you've got Ezekiel Elliott who can run the ball, the Philadelphia Eagles with a great offensive line, and now Jordan Howard, Adrian Peterson, Darius Geis, this guy will help with that department. Uh, this guy's special. We, he's from the same high school as Bryce Love. I went to go visit Bryce Love, and we went to the basketball gym and saw this guy. I saw him get a rebound, kick it to the point guard, and fill the lane. At 17 years old, I said, that guy's a first-round draft pick. I've never seen that before. He's so that, wonderful. That, with the 18th pick in the 2019 draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Garrett Bradbury, center, North Carolina State. Center. Interesting. Hey, Kirk Cousins, we don't have video on him, but he's celebrating along with Garrett Bradbury. This is the best center in the draft and one of the best to come out in the last handful of years. Guys, I, I call him the Grim Reacher coach because I've never seen somebody... A center, a center's really, he's not going to be under 300 pounds really, is he? Reach more 
more guys in the run game. Oh my god, look at all these people. He is outstanding with his quickness. You think about guys he reminds you of, you go back and look at, uh, at Jason Kelsey and Ryan Khalil, he's that type of center. The quickness is off the charts. Let's get to the tape and show you what I'm talking about. Reach blocks. Watch him get around, turn his hips around, and seal. He's very loose in his hips. He does this in every single game. It doesn't matter the competition. Again, reach around. There you go. Seal off the block. Give your running back a nice lane to run through. Then you can watch him work up to the second level. Climb up to the second level. Take a good angle. Wall off the linebacker. One-on-one -on -one pass rush at the senior bowl. He was outstanding. He'll give a little bit of ground versus power. He's not the biggest guy before eventually settling back down. Get down. We saw that in these one-on-ones, which I thought would be a tough environment for him. But look at the balance, his ability to recover, keep your hands in tight. He's going to start right away. I'd imagine Pat Elfline will kick over to guard. Beast. The 19th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Jeffrey Simmons. Defensive tackle, Mississippi State. Well, they went defensive tackle after all of our conversation about needing offensive firepower. What do you think, Daniel? Well, he's a top five player in this class. If he's healthy, if he doesn't tear his ACL, he's <laughs> long gone by now. This is a this is a guy that can do everything. Fletcher Cox has wow. been the Philadelphia Eagles. This guy's very similar to him when you study him on college tape. It's an interesting story. There was a video that surfaced of him as a big-time high school recruit. He was charged with simple assault in 2016 for repeatedly striking a woman. And then he was suspended for a game there at Mississippi State. Every scout that I talked to that went through the school said everybody raved about this kid. They've never had one issue with him. Academically, he was perfect. Treated everybody with respect. They couldn't have given him any higher praise. And every team I talked to had moved to a place where they were comfortable where this kid is at. Uh, as, a, as a human being, but there's no question he is a dominant football player. They're just not going to see him right away. Ian Rappaport, what can you add, sir? Video Don't know about that, show man. Jeffrey Simmons striking a woman before he was enrolled at Mississippi State was part of the evaluation process for every team. Mississippi State could not have spoken more highly of Simmons if they had tried. Now, from my understanding, he was extremely honest about this video. What led him to hit this woman, protecting his sister after someone said something to her that is as bad as you could possibly imagine. It does not excuse anything, but it got teams to a point where they felt comfortable taking Simmons. Yeah, it's a hard one. The 20th pick in the two 2019 NFL Draft. Okay, so the Broncos had the 10th pick, but they traded it for the 20th and the 52nd and another pick next year. So who did they get? The Denver Broncos select Noah Fant, tight end, Iowa. Well, tremendous value here, Rich, to have Noah Fant still available at this point. Tight end. And Joe Flacco, you go back and watch him when he was at his best. Dennis Pitta was his guy. He loved throwing the ball to the tight end. Now he's got an explosive tight end who's going to be able to scream down the seam. You're going to use him on those deep over routes, coach. He's going to be a weapon in the passing game for Flacco. No question. I, I watched this film. I thought about Jimmy Graham. I thought about Jerry Cook from the Oakland Raiders. He's now at the New Orleans Saints. This guy is a mismatch. He is an issue. He is tall. He is long. He is fast. He is physical. Uh, this guy on, on little nickelbacks or on safeties or on linebackers, this guy's a tr this guy's struggle. Big quarterbacks love this guy down the middle of the field. Yeah, I thought Jared Cook as well. Maybe a little smoother than Jared Cook. He could go and, and move to the outside. You can line him up. Not necessarily an inline blocking tight end, but it's a wing tight end that you can get him into the second. It's end. like Saturday Night Live, isn't it? So like on the band. You look at his height, weight, speed, you know who he compares favorably to? It's Vincent Jackson, the wide receiver. That's what type of skill set he possesses. A fan had an incredible comp. I just got to ask Google one thing. Where was the 2009 NFL... No, shit. <laughs> Nick Minnett. Where was the 2019 NFL Draft? Uh, Nick Minnett. Where was the 2019 NFL Draft held? 2019 NFL Draft was located in... Nashville, Tennessee. But we're exactly in Nashville. And now here he is as the 20th overall pick of the draft. Going to the Denver Oh, well, there we go.
That's 20. Now what's next? 21 to 32. Okay. We're going to have some running backs. We're going to have some wide receivers. I have to do this, but we're going to just... Actually, what are we going to do? Round three, round four. There is one guy I want to see in round four, and that's Mitch Wisnowski, the Australian punter, who's gone to the San Francisco 49ers from Utah? Was it Utah? I'm not sure. Anyways, okay, next video. Picks number 21 to 32. Stay tuned, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe. Peace out. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now.